to 60. Yeah. And so it takes... I have a time-lapse video, uh, video for my account. Okay. I have to change the title of it because stars on it and like how I use their name. So. Uh, 160 pictures. And it, this is sort of like your film that you, you have this on YouTube right now? Or? No, I don't have it anywhere. It's just, or, uh, yeah, this, that, there was a Vimeo. But my other film that I have on here is not involved yet because I don't have the music rights. Hmm. All right, this is Mark with uh, Tucson Biz Info, and we're here with Sean Parker and his astrophysiological uh, photography. Astrophotography. <laughs> okay, astrophotography. All right, he's going to tell us a little bit about his work and how to get a hold of him and get people who want to have uh, photos done or anything like that. So, uh, Sean Parker, take it away. Tell us about yourself and how you got started in this and how people can get, get a hold of you. All right, well, my name is Sean Parker. I am an astrophotographer here in Tucson. Um, kind of got in this, you know, in a weird way. You know, I was at a bar and I saw a telescope out on the patio and I took a phone, or I took my phone and took a picture of the moon through the scope and kind of, you know, got in it that way. Uh, the Sean were at the time, so we had to bring a real camera and take better pictures. So I bought a camera. Took some moon photos and got in it. You know, that way. <laughs> wow, excellent. Um, well, uh, so how many photos do you have like in stock right now? Like hundreds or? Yeah, a couple hundred photos, um, ranging from landscapes to all the way up to you know the deep galaxies. Um, my favorite image is probably going to be the Orion Nebula. It's one of the more well-known nebulas to photograph. Uh, it's just very interesting to me. Um, aside from photography, I do time-lapse photography. I have a short video coming up back here that you can take a look at. Um, it's on my Vimeo page. Uh, it's on your Vimeo page and they can get through you through SeanParker.com? Sean-Parker.com or, or uh, Vimeo.com forward slash Sean Parker. Okay. And uh, how, can you spell that for people? Who yes, are... sorry. Sean is spelled S-E-A-N dash P-A-R-K-E-R.com. And they can Google it and find your images yes. that way. And, and do you have an email address so people can yeah. get a hold of you that way? My email address is Sean at Sean-Parker.com. Okay. Pretty easy. And um, now, you have a... Here, let me get this Milky Way photo. And I wanted to ask you about how the um, time-lapse, how you utilize the time-lapse photography. I, I'm really, really impressed with the... Uh, work that you do with the time-lapse photography. Can you kind of explain how you're able to bring these images in and make them so clear? Sure. Um, well, this image is a, uh, a Milky Way that was taken at blue hour at around 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. Uh, up on Rose Canyon Lake Mount, on Mount Lemmon. Uh -huh. um, this was actually just a still. This wasn't part of a time-lapse. Um, basically, time-lapse photography is Kind of a different subject and we can talk about that with the video if you'd like but uh, to capture this kind of photo it just takes a lot of time and patience and um and you gotta you gotta work your camera now you when you, you were explaining how some parts of the photo would be exposed for two minutes some would be exposed for four minutes kind of are there different lightings or shades that you use or yeah um there's a lot of different kind of techniques you can use for this kind of photography um this photo is actually just a one one exposure at 25 seconds uh -huh. with a Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, the lens that was used was a 16 to 35 f 2.8. Um, I highly recommend you use a fast, faster lens to get these kind of photos, just because it lets more light in at a quicker exposure. Um, for my deep space astrophotography, I do I range from one minute all the way up to 10 minutes, as long as I have a accurate tracking on the telescope. Wow. And. Um so you, do you favor Canon over Sony or Nikon? or? What I do. I started on, on Canon and uh, I tried Nikon just a couple weeks ago actually and I was blown away about how you know inconvenient Nikons are compared to Canons. Maybe because it's second nature to me that I know Canons controls better but I just find Nikon and Sony just not very convenient with their controls. So I, I've talked to many photographers and they, they all rave about Canon yeah. and so so you started with a T3i and now you're ending up with a, what, what type, type of I'm camera? I'm on a 5D Mark II now just because it's a full frame body and the noise reduction <clears throat> is a lot better. Okay, so for architects or commercial real estate people or 
any people that need photographs of their buildings or you know just really eloquent type architectural photos or astro photos they can call you and get a hold sure. of you yeah I, I range in all kinds of photography um, I started off doing landscapes but now I've been doing portraits sports events weddings I'm kind of falling into everything just because I have the passion for it wow well I, I think you have I'm really impressed by your work and I really enjoyed meeting you and thank you very much and uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you and thank, thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you.
Yeah, we went like around and stuff. They all look really good though. Yeah, um, my friend Andrew was walking around us and I'm going to say something. The most friends that have been on the list. Yeah, it's like, it's Okay, perfect. It says in the limited edition, so I can always reprint it too. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, how are things looking?